Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs Review. Today we are going to be looking at the Spartan Grenadier Armor Pack, which, let me just say, why is it called the Grenadier Armor Pack when the base figure is a CQC? Like, wh what's up with that? Um, so I got this set from Kev, who you guys will remember from the Drop Pod sets, and Kev has actually become the channel's second member he goes by the kevinator here on youtube so he has really been doing a lot for this channel he lent me the drop pods he he sold me this for a really good price and he has become a channel member so i think that deserves a round of applause in the comments that is really really impressive so a huge huge thanks to him and thanks to him i'm going to be able to look at this set and i am going to be able to to compare all of the different CQC figures because this guy was the last one I needed to complete the lineup of CQCs. So let's crack this open and take a closer look. So this set was part of the 10th anniversary line, which means we have the gold like highlights and gold um, like texturing and the gold weapon and all that. So. I think this was the only one of the armor packs. No, wait, the JFO armor pack was, I think, also a 10th anniversary one. But let me see. Can I just open this without a knife? Because I still haven't found my X-Acto knife. It's disappeared off the face of the earth. I don't even remember. These videos might not come out in anywhere close to proper order, but another video that I just filmed recently, I said I didn't have it. Ooh, look at that. I don't need it this time, though. Oh, wait, the Vector Power Pack was a 10th anniversary set, too? Not gonna lie, that Spartan is so ugly. I think that's one of the worst-looking ones, those Spartans. <laughs> I hate Vector so much. It's such a dumb armor. Come on. So we have one bag of parts. Got the gold stand in there. Uh, we have our instructions because clearly we need to build a lot here. Basically all you need to do is know where to stick some of the little holders. And yeah. So that's about all it is for that. Let's pop this guy out. There he is. There is a, what is this, a grenade launcher? Which, honestly, I'm a little sad that they went so overboard with how many, like, gold weapons. Like, yeah, it was cool for the the whole 20th, or, I'm sorry, not 20th, 10th anniversary stuff. But, like, this is the first grenade launcher I've actually gotten, but it's gold. So, that's kind of a bummer. Because the gold weapons aren't all that useful outside of the... Uh, 10th anniversary context. So we've got some extra helmets, I think. Yeah, the Grenadier helmet has kind of a some splotchy paint on the one side. Oh well. Um, I didn't really get this pack for the Grenadier, even though it's named after that. What I really needed was the CQC. Okay, so that's all the stuff out of the package and ready to go. So let me put all this into a more presentable state and we will take a closer look. Alrighty, there we go. There is the figure on his stand with his grenade launcher. But first I wanted to take a look at the kind of crate here before we take a closer look at the CQC. So these crates to me are a heck of a lot more useful than the like uh, rec stations from the power pack sets these just look really good as like something you can put in the background as a locker or just like a supply drop something like that and then we get the colored front to match the figure so right now i have a green one from the eod pack um and now i have the blue to go along with it so i just i don't know to me these are a lot more useful and cool and they look even cooler when you go ahead and open them up because you can pop the armor in there and inside here we have a chest plate with all of the like what is that the 
That's not a Breacher chest plate. The Breacher is the new one that comes on the Haunted. Um, the one, this, the same thing as a meal, and it's got all the shells on it, painted up pretty nicely with some blue, which I'm not sure why they didn't use this on the base figure. It's the same with the grenadier helmet, but it is what it is, I guess. And then we have an extra back plate here, but the back plate is exactly the same as the one that's on the figure. I think all the reach back plates are the same, except for George's and, um, cats. And then we've got some helmets got a Hazop. The Hazop's printing is not the best. You know what? Let me see if I can go ahead and just take it off again. It's not gonna let me do it without a fight. There we go. There is the Grenadier, and you can see what I was talking about. There's like a bunch of extra gold off on this one side for pretty much no reason at all. And then the rest of the gold on the visor is a little on the thin side of things. So that's a little disappointing. The black is done really nicely. That's super sharp. Very well done. Uh, is there any printing around the back? No, does not look like it. So some some mess ups on this one. And again, why was this not the base helmet? Like it's called the Grenadier Armor Pack, but they didn't even put the Grenadier helmet on the figure. Then here's our Hazop. The visor print is better than the um, Grenadiers a little bit, but it's really thin. Like, you can see the blue coming through the gold just because of how thin it is. So that's a little weird. And on this side, look at this. The black, like, kind of kind of didn't even land on the vent here properly. So that's a little weird. Uh, we've got some black up here black on this side overall i'm a little disappointed by the quality of the prints on these helmets i think they could have been a lot better and the eod pack that i got if i'm remembering correctly those helmets all looked pretty darn good um, it's been a bit since i actually looked at the extra helmets but if i remember correctly they were pretty good i don't know maybe i just got a dud with this one maybe that's what it was or it could have been just it was widespread that these helmets didn't get the greatest visor prints ever and then finally we have two extra shoulders here i don't know the name of that one but i'm pretty sure that's a grenadier shoulder plate and none of them have print but they are good pieces to have there's a closer look at the print on that chest plate looks pretty good there's that back plate and then you get uh special pieces well on this whoops the hinges on these are the parts that are a bit annoying because they are not the most sturdy things ever. But yeah, you can see there, there's spots to put the armor on and it just pegs right in, which is pretty cool. And then you get some pieces to clip the helmets to and you get pieces to clip the shoulders to. And then you can seal it up and it's all ready to be transported. Or you could just take these all out and turn this into a weapons crate, which would actually look amazing. Having a bunch of, like, rifles or something in there, like, straight down. I might have to try that now. But yeah, you can close it up and carry your armor with you. And you're all set. The extra armor is great. And the options to swap the different helmets out and the different chest plates out, that's, that's really great. And, you know, I'm glad that mega did that but really the whole reason why i bought this set was for this cqc right here because this is the last cqc i needed so i could do the cqc comparison um so i'm not going to really be switching off the armor it's just i needed the cqc so i want to look at the cqc as he comes out of the box yes there's some great extra options in here and if i didn't need to have him straight out of the box i would probably give him this chest plate the other helmets are a little disappointing in terms of visor print so i would keep the cqc helmet on but yeah so this guy is all blue he's got some nice black printing on his helmet actually he's got kind of a lot of printing on his helmet some black on the side black on the top uh, more black on the side black around the back that's pretty nice the visor mm, it's not great but it's not as bad as the others it's a little thin on this side and some of the 
black to kind of make those fang looking sections here uh, it's a little smudged but he has a printed knife which is cool the black kind of trails up a little too far but it's not that noticeable and then this shade of blue is pretty cool it's like a nice metallic blue looks pretty nice the difference in color though between the lower legs and like the thigh armor is pretty noticeable so that might bug some people and then he's got his all blinged out grenade launcher which is a really interesting piece really interesting looking weapon in general and like i said this is the first time i've gotten one so it's cool to see how it actually works with a figure and the foregrip area actually is a grip so like with the older shotguns the the like grip on the front wasn't really a grip it was just kind of a place where you could put the figure's hands and he couldn't hold it but you can actually hold the launcher from right here which would actually be great if you put a clip on his back he could have it clipped on there really nicely that would look really cool and then of course he comes with whoa i was about to say he comes with a gold stand and then it flew off gold stand looks pretty cool yeah i i like this guy actually more than i was expecting to i thought he was just kind of be kind of going to be a plain you know generic looking figure but the printing on the helmet is way more impressive than i was expecting and the cqc armor just looks fantastic i'm just sad we have not gotten one in red yet like come on mega where's my red cqc well there you have it that is the spartan grenadier armor pack and after taking a look at this set in depth, that name makes even less sense to me. Like, why? It's not a Grenadier. That's a CQC. The CQC clearly got the most amount of attention to, like, the helmet print. And he's the base figure. All the Grenadier parts are extras inside that crate. So, why is this the Grenadier armor pack? Why didn't we just have it be called the CQC armor pack? That would have made so much more sense. Um, overall though, this is a really cool set. I'm more impressed by it than I thought I would be less impressed by the extra helmets. That was a little bit weak, but I really like the extra chest plate. I like the CQC a lot. And honestly, the gold on the grenade launcher has kind of grown on me, even though it's not like a super useful or even canonically correct color. It does look kind of cool, especially paired against the blue. So I really like this set. However, there is a bit of a problem. It has gotten really, really expensive, especially because it's part of the like 10th anniversary line on eBay, on Amazon. It's all really, really pricey. So I would say do not spend any more than like 15 bucks for this because it is, at the end of the day, it is one figure and some extra pieces. So when you're buying this set, if you're thinking of getting one, Keep that in mind. It is one figure and some extra pieces. So paying the 30 plus dollars that like a lot of places, I think Amazon might charge like 30 bucks for this. I haven't looked exactly uh, at this listing for a while, but I know the armor packs tend to be pricier on there. And then on eBay, it's like upwards of $25. So that's kind of a lot in my opinion. And I would say it's definitely not worth that much. 15 or less, yeah, if you like the CQC, then it's worth it, but there are definitely cheaper ways to get a CQC, even if it isn't a blue one. Kind of bottom line, it's a good set, but it's definitely not one of those ones that's really worth paying a lot of money for. That's just, it is what it is. It's a, it's one figure and some extra parts. So, when you're looking for this set, keep that in mind. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.